Hi. Is is this working? Well, I should hope so. Well then, um, yes. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> it's me, Kato, or just Kat, whatever. My name doesn't matter. Um, I hope you're happy with my voice. Um, I know this is a little bit weird and awkward because I'm still, you know, like shy. Or when I, yeah. And I don't really get you guys. You all wanted this voice reveal to know what I sound like, but I've already done like three or four videos where I where I've talked. You know, you could have just went to my videos and just scroll a little bit, and you would find something like this. You know how to test your microphone. Just I was just fiddling around. I'm just gonna play it for you. Yeah, so that was also me. So anyway, now that we're here, I can finally show you my PK customization, which a lot of you also asked for. So let's get to it! So first of all, the armor. Of course, I have the newest armor, the Capulet set. So as for the weapons, I change them a lot, but... Lately I kinda like these ones because you also have the color on the weapons. As for the colors, my neutral, this lovely purple with some yellow details called Haptic Sensation, unlocked from Arcade by doing random quests. As for the attacker, this lovely red and black with white details called Treasured Loot, also unlocked from random quests from the arcade and for, for the defenders I went for this lovely bright green and a little bit of purplish pink color because it's really bright, it stands out and it really looks good on the weapons in my opinion uh, this color is from Neon Stone's Elite Outfit, which you can buy, of course. But in the Defenders, I also really like this one. The Cloudy Day, white and blue, really looks good. With the black details of the armor from the Unfocused Battle Outfit, also bought. As for the ornament, I use a golden circlet, which I won in a ranked duel. It's simple and I think it really looks nice. And not everyone has it. It's just something I love, that I, I must stand out from everyone. I don't want to look like everyone else. So I just use this simple thing, because I haven't seen it on anyone yet. You can uh, you can see the regal crown on almost every beginner PK, and then I used to wear this, the sapphire. And lately, before I changed to the golden circle, I had this born of flame ornament. It changes colors which looks really cool from the Solaris outfit but as I said I love the golden circle because it's from ranked and almost no one has it <laughs> alright so as for the patterns, symbols and whatever on what is it chest and back I use clear chevron which makes these lovely spikes yeah I guess for the symbol 
leaders of Riverdale. You know, it's simple. It's 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 not standing out too much, and if you look closely, it kind of looks like it belongs there. Yeah, it just it's just nice. And no embossing. On the right shoulder, my pattern is card tracks. Again, one from the ranked matches from the duels. I use it because no one has it, or at least not everyone has it. And it looks really nice because of the stripes here, and it looks almost like this. You know, it's the same. Well, not the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm chatting out of my asshole, but whatever. And as for the symbol, I use the Beast of Everndale. I like dragons. It looks nice. And no embossing. The left shoulder is exactly the same as right. Card tracks for the paint pattern. And symbol, Beast of Everndale. My standard, I use the Flesh Visor. Because if I would have used the same stuff I have on my chest then there would be another spike right here but like with this there's only two little as you can see two little thingies right here and it just does this nice one spike and the rest is blank let me just find the stuff I have on the top as well yes this C there's this spike and I don't really like it, it just adds too much color. So I use this flash visor and it just... There's this one color and I really like it. And as for the legs, they, they don't really... From the back there's nothing and from the front you can't really see it, so I just use wall of spears because it looks nice on the armor and embossing combative conquest you can really see it but again i want it from random quest in arcade it's unique not everyone has it so i use it <sighs> well i could yeah let's talk about the feats as for the first feat there's not really anything else you should use if you have bounty hunter because it's so freaking nice Especially in Breach, where you can gain the health and stamina even from officers and not players. As for the second one, I never go for the flash grenade. I change it up between fixed skin and revenge attacks. And lately I found out that the revenge attacks, yes, it's nice. It helps you when your revenge gets stuck. It's almost full and it just gets stuck there. So you can do like two zones and you get revenge, but I found out that it's really safer with the fixed skin. The damage reduction is really nice since you don't have a lot of health and you have a re reflex guard, so you're gonna get hit a lot. As for the first, first, third feat, I often change it up be between sharpened blade and crossbow. I'm not really a fan of any throwable grenades or whatever. The crossbow. 25 damage it's not the fastest thing but it can assure you the kill if they have low health so it's really nice and sharpened blade if you get sharpened blade and you stab your opponent's kidneys they're gonna bleed for the f half health so that's really nice but it's much safer and easier to go for the crossbow so I recommend you picking up the crossbow and as for the final feat, don't use catapult, just don't. Change it a bit with fear itself and last laugh. Uh, generally, last laugh is safer and more effective if you can't use the fear itself well. No, everyone gangs, no one looks at your feet. If you have last, if you have last laugh, someone's gonna kill you. They're probably not gonna get to execution. Boom you killed like three people so that's really nice but for me personally i like to use the fear itself because for the few seconds that this feat is active you can really feel that pk has some damage and it's really nice to have like 20 something damage dodge attacks 
and about 30 something damage heavy attacks. It's really nice, but you must know how to use it. It's kind of a risk and reward because you have no guarantee that you're gonna do any damage. But with last laugh, there's this 50-50 if they're gonna get the execution or not, and you can die. You don't care if you die, but with this, if you die and don't do anything, it's worthless. But I like to go for the fear itself myself. So yeah, that's my PK customization. And I really can't believe you guys made this channel grow up to 1000 subscribers. I know that I'm a little late right now but it's just mental like i started when i recorded the strategy game the rising kingdoms i just did it because no one filmed the game you know there was no walkthrough through the, for the entire game and then i got a better pc so i decided hey i love for honor i love this game I've seen other YouTubers just record their games and get nice feedback, so I decided, okay, I can do the same. And I love Peacekeeper, not everyone means Peacekeeper, so I'm gonna focus on that. And look at this, 1000 subscribers and you guys love my content and it's really nice. It's so fucking nice to see how in the comments when someone says, oh my god, your PK looks so nice, I think I'm gonna try to main her now, I'm gonna pick her up, I'm gonna play her. It just warms my heart, it, it really does, it's so nice to read all these comments. And, and one of the last comments I got was from someone that thanks to me, they don't care about anyone's opinion for who they play. Because they were playing PK and everyone said, eh, she's weak, why do you play her, you suck, and this shit. But he just he just told, told himself, no, I'm not gonna listen to that, I'm gonna play her because I love playing her. And it just warmed my heart so much, so thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot, I know everyone says this, but it's true. We wouldn't be saying that if it wasn't true. So again, thank you very much and I really hope that we're gonna keep on growing and keep on having fun playing this shitty game. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it for this kind of a special. And see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't expect any, like, Every video will be a commentary now. No, fuck that. I need to focus on the game. I can't play and talk at the same time and perform well. So maybe in the beginning of the video, I'll talk a bit, you know, have, have a chat with you guys. And But when I'm fighting, I'm not gonna talk because it. I just need to focus to perform well. So you guys can watch some nice plays or whatever and not just listen to me chatting out of my asshole yeah so again thank you very much so i guess i'll see you in the next video from for honor or maybe something else we don't know okay but seriously though thank you so much